Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered how in the world you will be able to read through dozens of academic articles in a day or two for your research? Or are you wondering how and where to start reading? Academic articles are valuable to your research. They are necessary resources that will add to the credibility of your overall research. But they require careful attention. What that means is misunderstanding or misinterpretation of their content can take your research in a totally different direction. Academic articles, also known as scholarly articles, are closely scrutinized works written by scholars or researchers in a specific subject matter or field. They are reviewed, evaluated, and edited by their peer researchers in the same field before they are published in academic journals. Academic articles are pretty lengthy in most cases and have a different parts including an abstract, an introduction, review of literature, methods, discussion, and conclusion. Just a heads up, these headings or subheadings particularly useful for social science, engineering, and other science degrees. You may find that if you study different type of degree or if you are in different fields, the headings or article sections may vary or be different. It often takes a few hours to read one academic article. However, understanding the content is a different story. There are ways you can read articles effectively and efficiently. Keshav calls this the three paths approach. In this episode, I will introduce the three paths approach that will help you read academic articles fast. First path, skimming, getting the bird's eye view. Reading an academic article from start to finish is not only inefficient, but also ineffective. It takes a lot of time and is mentally exhausting to read through an article thoroughly. After spending a few hours reading one article, you realize, oh gosh, it is not be useful for your research. You will need to read multiple academic articles to support your research. In most cases, you will need at least 30 articles for each research paper you will write. The first step is to skim through the article. Keshav calls this getting a bird's eye view. In this step, you identify the big question of that article, the meat. To do this, you read only three parts of the articles, the abstract, the introduction, and the conclusion. Before you dive into the other parts, it is essential to get the main focus or problem the paper is trying to solve. Briefly skim through the articles to decide which method the authors use to collect data and how they present the result of the idea. And that's it. And you don't need to read every sentence in methods and result section. Keshav then suggests answering the 5C to get a substantial overview. The first C is category. What kind of academic paper is this? Is it original article, a review, or a theoretical one? Second C is a context. Is it related to other literature? How was the problem analyzed? 
theoretically or systematically. Third, C is correctness. Are the assumptions on the subject valid or relevant? Fourth, C is contributions. What are the article's main contributions? And last C is clarity. Is the paper well written? Is it coherent and understandable? I often use these five C's when I serve as a manuscript reviewer for a journal. Once you have answered the five C's, you can determine if this paper is worth diving into or if it is better to toss and move to the next one. The first pass can save you from wasting time and effort on an article that will be useless to your research. Second pass, studying, probing further. Once you've determined that an article is worth looking to further, move on to the second pass. And this pass props further into the papers, but not deep enough to be completely immersed in its content. This is the part where you pick out key points and notable statements of the paper. Also make a note references you haven't had a chance to read yourself. Then you dig further into the results and statistical analysis provided in the paper. Review figures, graphs, diagrams, and illustrations that may be related to the key points you've jotted down. Do they seem relevant? Are they properly labeled? Do they seem rushed or crudely made? Are they up to date? Spotting these common errors can also give you an idea about the quality of the paper. By the second pass, you will be able to grasp the overall picture and the main implication of the paper. If the paper is still a little bit unclear, don't worry. Academic articles that have a more complicated or unfamiliar subject matter may take more time to comprehend than less complex and more common topics. Third pass, sketching, summarizing to fit your needs. The third pass is summarizing the content of the article you read in order to fit your research needs. The goal in this stage is to sketch your own way of presenting the same idea or point of the paper in your research. For example, you might want to compare the paper's assumptions with your own thoughts from reading the academic article. This calls for great attention to detail as you need to identify areas and points where your research can fill the gaps. Write down the weaknesses and strengths of the article that you think would be useful in your research. And the weak points can be reconstructed and addressed it in your research, while the strong point can serve as the credible supporting point. And furthermore, jot down possible issues and other assumptions that may rise from the article, then address them in your research. By the end of this stage, you should be able to summarize the main implications of the article in your own words. If you don't have a lot of research experience, academic articles can be challenging to read and utilize effectively and efficiently. The main goal is to identify early on which ones are worth investing your time in reading and which ones are to be tossed aside. You will not know at first, so remember the three passes I talked about in this episode. First pass, skim three parts of the articles, abstract, introduction, and discussion. If the paper is worth reading further, move to the second pass. 
Second pass, study the three parts and prop further. And third pass, summarize the main implication as well as point out the weaknesses and strengths of the paper. I hope using the three pass approach will help you save time and efforts and read articles effectively and efficiently. Do you have your own tips to read articles quickly? Please share your tips in the comment section below. Your tips will help the members of this community. If this episode was beneficial to you, please like this video. And if you don't like the content of this episode, please let me know how I can make an improvement. I truly appreciate any feedback. As always, thank you so much for watching and your contributions.